Welcome. In this video, we will introduce some key features of the new PSIM Renewable Energy module. The PSIM Element Library in PSIM version 9 provides the new solar module models and the new wind turbine. First, let's look at the main functions of the solar module models. There are two models provided, the functional and physical models. The functional model requires only minimum input from the user, making it very easy to use. However, it does not account for light intensity change or ambient temperature changes. The physical model requires more input from the user. It does, however, take into account ambient temperature changes and light intensity changes. Next, Let's look at the new tool, which allows users to capture and save parameter data from any data sheet. For example, we can take the data from this data sheet and using the solar module tool, best fit the IV curve to that of the manufacturer's data sheet. Once done, parameters can be exported to the working schematic for simulation. In your schematic, run the simulation, obtaining IV curve and power, and compare the results to the manufacturer's data sheet if desired. PSIM now provides several examples for MPPT, or maximum power point tracking. Looking at one example, we run the simulation and see how the maximum PowerPoint tracking is performing. Showing cell current, theoretical maximum power versus actual power delivered by the solar module. We can see here the actual power tracks the theoretical power very closely. Please review the user manual or solar module tutorial for further details. For wind power applications, users would need the wind turbine model together with elements from the motor drive module. The motor drive module provides numerous machine models as well as mechanical load models. With PSIM version 9, we provide three complete examples for wind power generation studies. First, let's take a look at the double-fed induction generator. We have wind turbine, the double-fed induction generator. On the rotor side, the winding connected to a power converter, all going to the utility grid. At the bottom of the schematic, we show control of the generator converter and the inverter converter. Second, with a squirrel cage induction generator. We have the wind turbine connected to a squirrel cage induction generator, followed by a generator converter, grid converter, and then linked to the grid. Also, we have the control blocks for the generator and grid converters. The third example is a PMSM-based wind power generation system. Again, we have the wind turbine, PMSM generator, generator converter, and grid converter, and all the controls needed for complete simulation. With PSIM, we provide the complete package for your renewable energy simulation needs. Please select a link for further information.